Hey there amazing traders, welcome to yet another version of Trader Talk. Now this video is supposed to go out on Tuesday, however, I'm having to shoot this video about Wednesday morning, so it's about noon Dubai time. Um, now the reason why the video didn't go out yesterday was because I was just actually tired and today I wanted to wake up and have a fresh mind towards the charts because I didn't want to be groggy and tired and putting together a video and then everybody can just pretty much tell that I'm tired from the from the video. So I wanted to wake up today looking fresh. As you can see, I look really fresh today. Now guys, today, before I even get into that, once again, I want to apologize for not bringing out a video last week. The reason I didn't do that was because I realized that the market was kind of like shifting, okay? We were seeing trend reversals. I just wanted to make sure that the trend reversals were concrete before I came on here and obviously put together a video. And from what I can see, the trend reversals are actually quite concrete. I have seen a major reversal on the euro. Same with AUD USD and GBP USD might be reversing as well. We're going to be diving into the charts to obviously look at that. We had placed the trade on euro dollar. Um, two, three weeks ago, that trade stopped, stopped us out for break even um, because it appears that the market just wasn't willing to go higher anymore, and which is fine. Guys, there's one thing I want you guys to understand when it comes to this game. Sometimes it is always better for the market to just either stop you out for a stop loss or break even so that you know exactly where the market wants to head to. I always like situations whereby the market tells me, please, Mr. Market, tell me and tell me fast okay tell me and tell me fast we've had we, we had a situation with the euro dollar whereby the market was just you know threatening to go down and then threatening to go up and on now i think the market is now ready to tell us okay i don't want to go up i want to go down and that's fine sometimes it's better to cut the losses so that you can focus on the real direction and guys that's pretty much it now <clears throat> Before I proceed any of my videos, I always like to give a shout out to my students. Um, it was actually one of the Forex Mastery students who actually reached out to me and said, Sir, what do you think about this? This is what he's thinking. He's feeling like the market is due for a reversal. Based on the way he learned from the Forex Mastery course and my teachings, he's able to identify when the market is about to reverse. A lot of people, this is the major issue that they face. They don't know when the market is about to reverse, so they keep jamming, jamming, and jamming their heads against those trades that are not eventually going to yield them anything. On the Forex Mastery course, you know um, module 5 talks about trend reversals. So we all know that trend reversals can be spotted on a particular time frame. You can't spot trend reversals on any other time frame. There's a particular time frame. And he brought that to my... I'm, I'm so proud of him because he brought it to my attention. Like, sir, don't you think the euro is time for... Don't you think the euro wants to reverse based on... Um, the fundamentals of price action doesn't doesn't it look like the euro is about to reverse then i checked the chart out like yes indeed you're actually spot on so shout out to you josh you're an amazing guy for those of you guys who want to grab the forex mastery course the link is going to be down below as always i just want to say a special shout out to you josh because you brought this to my attention and that means you have digested the course you've taken it in and you've learned a lot from the program and i'm super super proud of you um now before i also get into this um forex mastery Street students i have a nice surprise for you guys so we're going to be partnering with a company that is going to be providing funding for you guys so funding uh, the funding is coming in two packages: the 25k package and the 50k package yes you're going to have access to between 25 and 50 thousand dollars to trade on behalf of an investor and then you get to split the money 50 50. this is exclusively and exclusively only for the forex mastery students yes and i couldn't be more proud to be the one to provide you guys the opportunity so if you haven't grabbed the program ensure to do so the link is going to be down below so enough about the program enough about Josh enough about every other thing let's hop into the chart let's go guys hey guys and welcome inside of my screen now guys I'm sorry you can't really see my face on the webcam today because my webcam seems to be acting up a little bit I have no idea why but not to worry before my next video is out I'm gonna have a brand new webcam so you can see my pretty face all over again now guys today I want to kick off with a pair you guys are not really used to seeing that much it is the dollar index okay DXY now why, why do I want to talk about the dollar index now for me the dollar index really kind of helps me gauge you know what 
the majors are most likely going to be doing, you know, in the foreseeable future. Um, the dollar index is pretty much um, it's a, it's a basket of all the other dollar-based pairs put together as one. So this is the average price. Okay, so um, another thing about the dollar index is if you flip the dollar index upside down, it is the Euro USD. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but just look at this double top on the Euro dollar here. Um, if I just go back to DXY. You guys pretty much see that it's the same. You can see the double top is now so the, the this chart is Euro USD turned upside down. So um, sorry about that. Now the reason why I like to look at the dollar index from time to time is to basically give me an idea as to what the dollar is going to do. If I can forecast the dollar index correctly, I can pretty much gauge what the other dollar based pairs are most likely going to do. So from what I can see, if I zoom out on the dollar index, from what I can see is I can see a major double bottom that has formed. Now, it's, this is most likely the reason why Euro USD has been um, unable to make new highs. Um, from my last trader talk video, I was actually anticipating the Euro USD to make at least one last leg to the upside. However, that did not happen. Okay, so we, we got stopped out for a break even on that trade. Um, I wasn't too happy about it because I was actually hoping for the Euro USD to, to pretty much give us, um, you know, another push to the upside. But that didn't happen and that's fine. We can't keep crying over spilled milk. So we're going to quickly do an analysis on the dollar index. And this should give us a guide as to what is most likely going to happen to the other pairs, right? So I'm just going to quickly map out some of my key levels on the dollar base on, on the DXY. So if I just clone this, um, this pretty much looks like a key level to me, if you ask me. So if I just take this up a little bit and I push this into the future. So that being said, the dollar index, um, from what I can see, this is a weekly time frame. Um, so the dollar index has pretty much, I won't say this is, it didn't exactly get to, sorry guys, my mouse is misbehaving. Come on mouse, now is not the time, now is not the time, now is not the time. All right, cool. Hold on one sec, guys. All right, cool. So we didn't exactly hit major support on the dollar index. We came shy of this level and the market had just pretty much spun around. So I'm guessing that the market actually came in and tested this minor level somewhere around here. And this is ex the exact reason as to why this pair has reversed. Now, um, I have no doubt in my mind that this pair has reversed. Why? Because this is a double bottom on a weekly time frame. Okay. Uh, you most likely see the same on the euro dollar. It's a double top on, on the weekly time frame. Once we see chart patterns like reversals like this on higher time frames, we know that the reversal is quite concrete. Also, we also have a trend line that has been broken. I'm getting somewhere with this. Sorry, guys. So we have this inner trend line that has been broken. Okay, so we broke this inner trend line. We've tested here. We've come back down. So what is actually happening in the real sense is this pair... Um, and also, if I draw the trend line like this, however it is, we because I like to draw my trend line twice, the inner one and the outer one, just to be sure. And from what I can see, this weekly candle has pretty much come to break this trend line level. So as long as we can sustain above this, um, the dollar index is most likely going to rally into this next blue region about here. So this is the analysis done. So if we come to the daily, maybe we can potentially see if we can grab some trading opportunities for this bad boy. So what exactly is happening right now on the week on the daily time frame is this market has blown out of here. Um, for you to get an entry for here is so simple and straightforward. All you need to do is wait for a pullback. Use your Fibonacci, um, a pullback into maybe a region somewhere about here. Um, once you see a bullish engulfing candle, feel free to buy all the way to the upside. Now, the reverse is the case for the euro dollar. All you need to do for euro US is flip the chart upside down. As you can see, the same is playing out for the euro as well. 
Um, this is the double top we were talking about on the euro, um, the double bottom we we're talking about on DXY. This is it. These ones, this, this is it. I'm very surprised that we didn't get here. Very unlike the market, but it is what it is. Um, we have also broken this major trend line and I can see that next level target for this will most likely be here and then we can proceed into here. So how do we trade this? This trade is going to be very simple and straightforward. Um, I'm just going to be waiting for um, some red for the market to push back in. So this is called a breakout retest continuation trade. I'll be looking for the market to push into here, probably fake out some traders a little bit and then start pushing all the way to the downside. I'll be expecting at least a daily count do close to look a bit like this okay a daily candle close to look a bearish engulfing so i'll be using candlestick pattern to get into the trade very simple and straightforward i will need to see a bearish engulfing candle off of here and then i'll be executing my sales my stop loss will come here and then my first level target will be here and overall target will be all the way down here okay so um the euro dollar is the euro dollar seems to be reversing at the moment okay especially with this massive fall to the downside i was actually long somewhere around here and then the market played around played around and eventually i moved my stop losses to break even and um this trade kind of stopped me out either for break even or a slight maybe minus 15 pip loss something of that sort um i wasn't too happy about that i'll be the first to come on here and tell you that the euro really pissed me off um but i guess it's just one of those things um but I, I always consider the fact that as, at least I wasn't stuck in front of my screen, scratching my head, trying to buy, trying to sell, a bunch, trying to buy. Da, da, da. What is going to happen is going to happen. And if something wrong is going to happen, let it happen once as opposed to you. For instance, if I didn't make money on this trade and I had a minus 10 pip stop loss and I got stopped out, um, at least I got stopped out for minus 10 pips. As opposed to people who stuck in front of their screen who probably got stopped out on seven different trades because they got into the trade. Don't forget this whole move when I bought here was an absolute roller coaster. Okay, down, up, down, up. Best believe you see the last four weeks was hell for a lot of traders. I know I get the messages. I see traders complain to me a lot. Um, so I know a lot of people had it very rough here. However, the Forex Mastery students, you guys know that in all of this, we would have had only one trade. If something is going to go wrong, let us try and contain the downside as much as possible. Let us try and, you know, have contingency plans to ensure that we don't get sucked into this market. So it was one trade for us and we held on to it either all the way to profit or all the way down to our stop loss. And once I saw the market playing around here, we were able to break above this level. I just moved my stop loss to break even. I was like, you know, what? whatever is going to happen is ha going to happen. And truth be told, the market did indeed come and take out my stop loss for minus 10 pips, slightly below break even. And that's fine. So what has happened is I like when the market sometimes is even good when the market stops you out so that it can give you a clear direction. As I can see right about now, we have broken this trend line. Now I can say, OK maybe with this market actually wants to start selling okay maybe this market actually wants to start selling okay maybe this guy is actually having some major issues somewhere around here maybe this market actually wants to start what selling because i soon i see no reason it has it has defeated all the rules of a of an uptrend okay this market failed to come and make a higher high it made a lower high than the previous high so that tells me Dapsy, we're in trouble here. Not only did we make a lower high, it's a double top. Um, once we see a double top on a time frame like this, it simply means that the market is about to reverse. Not only do we have a double top, this double top has fed the market to the downside. We've broken this trend line. So when you see double top and break of trend line, just know that that trend is in trouble. I doubt, I really doubt if except 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 maybe this market wants to fire all the way to the upside. Mm. so the deciding point will be this yellow line like i said i'm gonna have to wait for confirmation i need a bounce off of this level like so come in here and break down here then i'm gonna be happy okay because this market can come and tell you hey i actually came to test this trend line this is a fake out okay so we need to slide into here and then what all the way back down then we can eventually start selling but i see no reason why this market should be bullish if i come on the monthly time frame let us see 
you see guys one thing you have to understand about forex is you see what might look like a clear breakout to you on a particular time frame might not be a breakout on another time frame if i draw this this trend line properly on them monthly time frame you will see that we on the monthly time frame this market is still inside of this trend line so it's a bit dicey okay and however if we come on the weekly if we come on the weekly time frame if i draw this like so on the weekly time frame is pretty much broken okay on the weekly time frame on a weekly time frame is not really even broken per se this market can easily tell you that yo listen you know i stuck here i'm stuck here okay but i'll tell you what now we have to now talk in terms of probabilities Pro the probability of this market heading higher is 20 percent the probability of this market coming lower is 80 percent okay so once you start thinking in terms of probability you're no longer scared because you know okay the probabilities are on my side i'm gonna look for now in order for us to increase the odds of us having a profitable trade we're gonna wait for a little extra confirmation from this bad boy so i'm gonna simply wait for a test the outer test of this trend line sling 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 slide slide shoot 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 and then shoot down sells all the way down here or we can just fly all the way to the upside so the, the, the my rules of engagement for the euro usd shots are very simple test the back of this trend line in confluence with this yellow minor resistance show me a bearish engulfing daily candle to the downside and i will be clicking my sell buttons simple if i don't see that i ain't gonna be selling simple as that all right guys let's go over to the aud usd chart from what I can see on AUDUS, it's very simple and straightforward. We have a head and shoulder pattern that was that had formed at a major resistance and trend line region as well. This inverse, this don't, not inverse, this head and shoulder, left shoulder, head, right shoulder has broken this level on a weekly time frame. For uh, forex mastery students, you know this. You know that we only look out for reversal patterns on weekly time frames. If this chart pattern had formed on a one one hour time frame i won't be interested in it why because the one hour time frame is not concrete enough for us to you know say yes this time frame this um trend reversal is actually going to hold because one hour time frames are used by day traders and gamblers and intraday traders so it doesn't really hold that much value but for the market to take its time this market has been inside this has been forming this head and shoulder since january six months <laughs> six whole months he's been trying to form this if something takes six months to form best believe that it's this is very serious guy <laughs> it's a very serious guy so you know we've broken the neckline for this bad boy um we've broken the neckline for this bad boy all i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be waiting um, i'm going to be waiting for an aud usd i'm fancying the downside I'm just simply going to be waiting for us to see some bearish action to the downside and then I'll be selling my stop losses will come in the middle of the range here. Um, first level targets, my targets are going to be all the way down here. Give me a sec. Okay, why is my target going to be here? Because that is a touch of the trend line. Okay, so Forex Mastery students, you know... Um, if we break a trend line and then we're coming down, it's going to respect the major points of that trend line. So that's exactly how the market works. So if this head and shoulder, this this head and shoulder can hold, and this breakout holds, we have all this space to the downside. So we have so much trading opportunity. So we're just waiting for extra confirmation. I'm very sorry. Over the last probably about two three months, you guys haven't been struggling to find trading opportunities. Why? Because the market has look at this it's just been ranging you, there's not you can't really spot that much in this ranging opportunity i know other youtubers who trade forex will tell you they have the best intraday strategy they have that strategy guys i don't care what strategy they are showing you if the market is not trending that strategy is going to break and it will break your account with it all i do here is to try and open your eyes okay so that you can see 
You can use whatever strategy you want to use. However, you need to be able to know what's happening on a higher time frame. What's happening in front? What is the overall gist? Because you can have a fast car and be driving very fast in the wrong direction. Okay? I see a lot of strategies. They're very good. However, you have to know when you should be applying those strategies. Is it time for us to go? I mean, once this market starts trending all the way to the downside, you can use whatever strategy you want to use. Sell opportunities are just going to work just fine. Okay? But if you bring strategies into this sideways movement, it's going to break. This is the mentality I want you guys to have. So this is very crucial. So AUD USD, and like I'm like I was saying, the dollar seems like it wants to start gaining some strength. Obviously, with the DXY reversal that I showed you guys, the first chart I showed you guys. Um, so if the dollar starts to gain strength, AUD USD is going to fall. Why? Because US dollar is going to gain strength. AUD will fall. USD will gain strength. So it's pretty much in line. And the last but not the least pair is GBPUSD, which is actually, um, which has actually, uh, excuse me, my mouse is misbehaving, guys, sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on one second. AUD, uh, GBPUSD, I didn't really draw that much on it. This looks like a double top, maybe most likely going to come into the base of this market. To be honest, this isn't the this this isn't the clearest and most easiest thing to interpret. It's so stressful, so confusing. Like you know, look at how many issues it took to go to the upside. I'm just not interested in this. Okay, I rather watch out for the Euro USD and watch out for AUD AUD USD, and then gold. <laughs> Gold, for the fact that we're trading back down below this trend line, gold is going to come here for free. I tell you guys that for free. Watch out for gold, a little something like this. Okay? Gold is coming back down to the base, most likely. So if I see the weekly, just to confirm. Ooh, that weekly is looking terrible, guys. False breakout, back into this black line. It's not looking nice for gold. Ooh, monthly candle. This is, this is the June... The June candle for the June monthly candle for gold is looking bad. Badder. <laughs> the June monthly candle for gold is looking bad. You know, so we my most likely this is a this is a reversal pattern if you ask me. If gold can maintain this red bar. Um so guys, let me tell you guys a little trick before I let you guys go. If you see a candlestick formation on the monthly time frame, for instance, this. So this is a bearish engulfing candle. Well, kind of equal to this one. If you see a candlestick pattern form on the monthly time frame, chances are that, for instance, this is a bearish engulfing candle. So what this means is that other subsequent candles are going to be bearish. So if other subsequent candles are going to be bearish, that tells me that subsequent month for months for gold are also going to be bearish as well. Simple, just by looking at this. I've seen a monthly candlestick pattern. It looks bearish. If this candlestick pattern plays out, subsequent candlesticks are going to be what? Bearish. What that means is that subsequent trading months um, for gold are going to be bearish as well. So for gold, how will I trade gold? Simple. I'll just simply wait. Um, we're trading back down below here. Simple, it's not even rocket science. I pull back into somewhere about here, and we should start seeing. We should start seeing this all the way to the downside. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I hope I've been able to shed some light this week. My pairs of focus this week are the euro dollar. So the euro dollar, once again, as much as I'm pissed off with it, I'm actually hoping for us to roll over to the downside and then the dollar index as well. And then AUD USD is going to be on my watch list. So guys, there you go. Simple, straightforward. My analysis barely takes me 30 minutes to do. You don't have to be stuck in front of your screen, scribbling buttons. I just leave my levels on here. The market is going to respect my level. And when the market is ready and ripe, to start rolling is going to knock on my door and tell me dabs i'm ready to start going okay so guys once again don't have to be stuck in front of your screen set your trade set your analysis and go and spend time with your family if not what this market has given to you it will take from you 
So guys, um, I'm going to take you guys over to my other screen. Thank you for staying to the very end of this analysis. Um, am I looking at any other pair? Euro JPY is looking quite interesting. Let me see. I think I'll discuss Euro JPY on my next uh, Trader Talk video. I don't really have proper analysis in here for Euro JPY. I'll definitely visit Euro JPY in my next analysis. All right, guys, that's it for me. Euro USD shorts, AUD USD shorts. The rest, I'm going to be staying out of it and gold shorts as well. The rest, I'm going to be sitting on my hands. Take it easy and let's go over to my other screen. All right, guys, so there you go. Thank you for staying till the very end of that video. As you can see, the market is heading for some significant reversals. Um, and like I was saying earlier, I'm happy. Like, reverse and inform me of exactly what you want to do and, you know, stuff like that. So, guys, once again, you have to be... You have to open your eyes, okay? You have to be able to anticipate reversals, you know, whilst they're happening so that you're not going and you're not buying into a reversal or you're not selling into a bullish reversal, okay? There's a particular time frame that I like to look at these reversals at and the Forex Mastery students, you guys know those reversals. So guys, if you found this video helpful, drop me a comment below. Guys, identifying reversals is the topic of today. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery course, the link is going to be down below. All right, guys, take it easy and... Peace out.